Toonie players, Robin here. I've got good news. We've got a grindable event. That means that my dwindling supply of Y points can be replenished, keeping the Robin Watch dream alive. Let's get to it. Map in the back. Choice of stealing or not, that means it's a Sudokai. As usual, I'll choose the green option for now. No stealing. It's the Academy Y Kiriboshi Castle Assault Operation. Since we don't get the enemy here, I have zero idea what that means. But I don't actually need to know in order to play the event. The Ultimate Revolution Watch Gaia is here. It gives a 20% bonus to hit points and 30% bonus to attack for Academy Y Yokai. In order to receive the watch, we'll need to find and assemble all the parts needed. Some of those parts are Guy Chips. If you have Pooh or Sky Snaker on your team, they'll boost the drop rate. Other Yokai can help as well. Samiki Hojiro deals more damage on all event stages. When fighting El Zemeckia, T-Dine provides a damage bonus. When fighting DG Trooper, Dober Vader provides a damage bonus. When fighting Zodai Araya, the impossible stage, Titus provides a damage bonus for all event yokai and nullifies her bombs. T-Dine also has a damage bonus against her, as does the UR Watch guy. Since it's a Sudokai, you'll need to get treasure items in order to get the seal rewards. You can do that via drops from event map enemies, or you can steal them from other players. In order to steal, you'll need Yokodori tickets, which are available in the point shop, through missions, login stamps, and with real, cold hard cash. During stealing, Momunga Lady provides a large bonus, Dolulu provides a medium bonus, and Waiawoken, Benimaru, and Commander provide small bonuses. Once you've befriended Zodai Araya, she provides a bonus to Y points, which are earned during event map battles and thus the grind ability. None of that stamina jibber jabber. There are event quests and missions. Let's check out the crank. One ZZ rank, one new Z rank, and three returning. Three new SSS ranks and an SS rank. Now, the slow bleeding of my 150,000 remaining Y points. This is where you marvel at how many I have, but it's rough if you want every new yokai during the first day of the event. We'll see if it's enough. Momunga Lady is a charming SSS rank ball maker. Her skill partially fills her soul meter when other yokai use their soul to meds. T-Dine is a heartful ZZ rank all popper and bonus ball maker. His skill fills his soul meter partially when you enter fever time. Dober Vader is an eerie Z rank popper who deals more damage with each use. His skill can partially fill his soul meter when his large puny are popped. Sameki Hojiro is a slippery SS rank horizontal line popper. His skill makes his puny easier to link. Dolulu is a slippery SSS rank attack booster and inflator. Her skill starts her soul meter partially filled. I've got 24,000 left. I'll be back, Crank. I'll be back. 
time to work our way up the map. The reward for clearing stage 2 is the guy watch body. As you play the event stages, what you want to see are treasure drops, like this one. There are four seals, each with unique item. You need to get all eight colors of each item, and yes, you can get duplicates. And no, you can't control what colors you get unless you're stealing. To move to the next seal, you need to complete the current seal first. The boss of the first map is Dolulu. She's got 6,500 hit points, does 400 damage every 5 seconds, and is the first hidden root unlocked. In order to access the first hidden stage, you'll need to get a 10 combo or higher. Refresher course time. A combo starts anytime you pop a size 2 or larger puny, and then pop another one within 2 to 3 seconds. The first hidden stage features Kantetsu, and is tribe restricted to tough, charming, heartful, and slippery. It is no continue. Let's face it though, Kantetsu has 6800 hit points and does 426 damage every 5 seconds. You're Robit Watch viewers. The only chance that you're going to continue is if you fall asleep while battling. In which case, you'll lose, so don't do that. Stage 26 is the second hidden root unlock. In order to unlock the second hidden stage, you'll need to link 25 or more puni at once. The second hidden stage features Robanyan F and is tribe restricted just like the first hidden stage. It's also continued the same way, which is to say, it's not. The Iron Cat has 12,000 hit points and does 630 damage every 5 seconds. The boss of the second map is Dolulu. She's got less hit points and does less damage than Robanyan F. Boom. Oh right, Rare Encounter. It's Black Army, and it's important because the Rare Encounter drops the guide chips, which you need for the watch. I've seen him appear on stages 16, 18, 21, 25, 30, 31, 36, 38, and 43. The boss of the third map is Dober Vader. No copyright infringement at all. Dober Vader is a semi-legit 29,000 hit points and does 895 damage every 5 seconds. He's also the third hidden root unlock. In order to unlock the third hidden stage, you need to make a size 30 or larger puny. Stage 3 features Clockman. His tribe restricted and is no continue. He's got 30,000 hit points and does 913 damage every 5 seconds.
Now that's done, it's time to ascend to the top of Kiraboshi Castle. There are two additional bosses and the impossible stage. I'm heading to stage 47 first because I didn't see stage 46. Elzemechia is no continuing tribe restricted to brave, charming, heartful, and eerie. Now we're talking. Elzemechia has 245,000 hit points and does 1150 damage every 3 seconds. I brought along the event yokai I've been using for the normal event map stages, but I've swapped in Wai Awoken, Benimaru, and Earthwalker to meet the tribe requirements. Overall, I think you could beat her with most Academy Yokai, but t has got a bonus. Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, the quarterback is toast. For beating El Zemechia, you'll receive the Guy Watch Bezel. Stage 45 features not one, but two DG Troopers. The stage is restricted to tough, charming, heartful, and eerie, and is, of course, no continue. Each DG Trooper has 226,000 hit points and does 800 damage every 3 seconds, doubling the attack. Same team, except my Brave Yokai have been replaced by tough, including Building Robo and Reborn Elder Bloom. This time, fittingly, Dober Vader has the bonus. And shortly after that, the first seal treasure reward is the guy watch belt. Stage 48 is the impossible stage and features Zodaya Raya. The restrictions are the same as for DG Trooper stage. She's got 250,000 hit points and does 1200 damage every 3 seconds. Note that I came in with 3 new yokai not being maxed yet, and frankly I was just slowly going about my business when... bad things happened. That's okay. I managed to defeat with this same team after I leveled them up. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to record it. Hit the record button just in time to catch this though. Double Drop Supreme. Zodiaria is a charming Z-rank all popper and soul meter filler. Her skills revive and fill soul meter. To the point shop. Let me start by saying that I have no idea why the yokai on offer are here in the shop. Some of these have been in the shop for three years, but you know what? You do you. Me, I'm buying Yokodori tickets until it won't let me. It turns out that after five, you're done. I've been banging my head on the second seal all day now, so I'm calling it. We all go Yokodori in the end. Here I come, Peck Pocket. With four stealing bonus yokai, I've changed things up a little. The teams I have set up all have an academy yokai that's strong in the center from one of the tribes. But otherwise, they're all the same. I don't see anything good to battle here, so I'm just taking an Enma. As a result of having such a strong team, my strength is much higher than in past treasure events. 31k means I'm almost always matched against a team in the high 30,000s, but let's see how it goes. That's right.
Anyone remember that I still need one of the event yokai? Through grinding treasure drops, I'm now up to 52,000 Y points. And a day has passed, so now the SSS ranks just happen to be drop rate up. Nice. First 10 crank. Hard to ask for more than that. Pooh is a charming SSS rank center popper and healer. Her skill partially fills her soul meter when you take damage. In the missions, which are all translated in Luke's doc in the description, there are important missions necessary for Guy Fragments. It's the only way to get them. In addition, there are four Yokodori tickets from missions. That makes a total of nine, and there's one near the end of the login stamps. In order to get all Guy Fragments, you'll have to attempt stealing ten times, which means you need every one of those tickets or you're going to have to pay for them to get the watch. I can't afford to wait until the end of the event to get the watch or you'll all be watching this video sometime in 2021, so I'll sacrifice 125 yen for the cause. Oh yeah, and I had to get through the third seal too. Took 10 hours and 5 minutes of nearly straight grinding. That leaves the fourth seal for Titus. I can only assume these are hot peppers. We'll go with it. I managed to get a few. They were stolen, so I'm just going to steal the rest I need. Here they are, and fast forward, and not a single one was a failure. I tried to rotate my center to be aligned with the tribe associated with each item color, but otherwise it's effectively the same team. One of them won by literally a few points, while some of them won by nearly 10,000. Go figure. Titus is a heartful SSS rank center popper and stunner. His skill redrops large puny. Now, I had to actually steal two more times, including one paid steal, in order to complete the 10 attempts requirement for the last fragment, but here we are. The UR watch guy needs the belt, the bezel, the body, 20 chips, and 10 fragments. And by popular comment demand, here's how I plan on grinding Y points for the rest of the event. So Zodiaria's stage with Titus, T-Dine, and the UR Watch Gaia. Of course I've got Zodiaria on my team as well for the Y point bonus. The net result is a quick 40 Y points once you're in stealing mode. Like candy from a baby, who wears a mask and a dress. How about those event quests? Another recording error on my part. First, clear stage 1, second clear stage 13, third clear stage 28, fourth clear hidden stage 3, fifth clear stage 45 without continues, and sixth? Play that score attack, y'all. Let's check out the new yokai. First, Momunga Lady. Literal translation, Flying Squirrel Lady. I'm just going to say it, I don't like ball poppers. Seven hundred and eight thousand. Now for Pooh. Seven hundred and eight thousand. 
750,000. Hi, this. Eight hundred thousand. Not bad, freebie boy. Dober Vader. One point one two million. These are all solid damage counts. So diarrhea. One point one one million. Another good freebie. T Don with the T pose. One point one four one million. I consider that a success. Now I'll be grinding for two weeks, and I'll see you with the next video. Thank you.